Before he strikes again! Here comes! I got your back! Here you go. Let's go! The decreed hour is come. Set forth with my blessing, Prince Noctis. Thank you, Your Majesty. Take your leave and go in the grace of the gods. Right. <sighs> Well, princes will be princes. So much for royal protocol. Not like you had to deliver a formal address. Your Highness! What now? I fear I have left too much unsaid. You place a great burden on those who would bear with you. <laughs> You're one to talk. I ask not that you guide my wayward son, merely that you remain at his side. Indeed, Your Grace. We'll see the Prince to Altissia if it's the last thing we see. Yeah, what he said. Hate to break this up, but Kor's got the motor running. Drados, he's in your hands. And another thing. Do mind your manners around your charming bride-to-be. Your Majesty as well. Try to mind yours around our esteemed guests from Niflheim. You have no cause for concern. Nor do you. Take heed. Once you set forth, you cannot turn back. You think I would? I need only know that you are ready to leave home behind. Don't know about you, but I'm ready as I'll ever be. Take care on the long road. Wheresoever you should go, the line of Lucis goes with you. Walk tall, my son. Welcome back everyone, Mean Poo here with another game to try on the Acer Nitro 5. Today I'll be playing Final Fantasy XV. This was one of those games that has been requested a lot. I kind of put it off because I tried to do it once, but it didn't come out how I wanted it to. After many more requests for how the game would run on this machine, I decided to give it a try once again. So, Final Fantasy XV is an open world action role playing game, where you take control of Noctis Lucis Calum during his journey across the world of Eos. While accompanied by his three companions Gladius, Ignis, and Prompto, you can navigate using simple movements such as jumping over small obstacles, sprinting for a limited time, and performing context-based actions such as taking cover behind objects. The Kingdom of Lucis is a large connected landmass that can be explored on foot by using the party's car, which is called the Regalia, or Chocobos. Both the Regalia and Chosen Chocobos can be customized. Chocobos can join in battles if their connection to your character is strong enough. While chocobos are controlled manually, the regalia can either be manually or automatically controlled. The party can also fast travel to areas unlocked on the world map. The regalia must be refueled periodically at petrol stations. In towns, the party can visit inns and hotels where they can stay, shops where items and equipment can be purchased with, with the in-game currency, which is called gil and the local tipsters who are essentially NPCs that provide information on quests from main story missions to the side quests. Side quests are also available from individual NPCs found in towns. During some story sequences, dialogue choices appear for Noctis, with the selected option altering the response from the NPCs. The game also contains two difficulty modes, normal and easy, with you being able to switch in between the two. 
The game uses an action-based real-time battle system. It's called the Active Cross Battle System. Instead of using the menu interface, you select commands directly mapped to buttons on the controller, such as attack, defend, and item. Battles take place within the current environment rather than transitioning to a separate arena and can range from open planes to enclosed building interiors. When approaching enemies, a threat meter appears on the top of the screen. It grows in intensity the closer the party gets to the enemy. When the party gets close and attacks or is detected, the battle begins. Running away from the enemies and out of the combat zone in normal battles ends the combat. During battle, each character has health points, and Noctis also has magic points. Health points are depleted whenever a character is attacked. Noctis can recover magic points over time when not in combat or when not using associated abilities such as warping or using special weapon skills. If a character's current HP reaches zero, they enter danger mode, during which the maximum HP cap steadily decreases. The character is defeated when their maximum HP is lost. Some enemies such as demons are able to lower the HP cap with their attacks. If Noctis is defeated, there is a brief period where the revival item must be used. Should you fail to do so, the game ends. Noctis can perform four actions in battle. The standard attack, defending which blocks and parries attacks, warping which takes Noctis to a targeted area such as another enemy or an out of the way warp point, and using items. Noctis can find and equip a wide range of weapons including single and double handed swords, pole arms, axes, shields, firearms, daggers, and royal arms. The weapons manifest from thin air as Noctis fights and can be manually shifted. The type of weapon equipped determines the attack speed and the amount of damage on normal attacks. In addition to normal attacks, there are attacks that deal more damage based on Noctis's position such as side strike or blindside, in addition to the warp strike attack. Attacks from enemies can be parried, and depending on the quality of the parry, Noctis can counterattack. Noctis's companions, controlled by the game's artificial intelligence, can perform contextual commands. When Noctis successfully parries an enemy's attack or performs a side strike or blindside, cooperative attacks between him and his companions called link strikes can be triggered. During battle, a meter called the tech bar fills. When full, Noctis can command his companions to perform special moves called techniques. Gladios performs a sweeping attack with his sword. Ignis uses his daggers to mark enemies so Noctis can perform a warp attack. And Prompto uses his firearms to fire a powerful shot that pierces through tough opponents. After each of these, Noctis can initiate a follow-up attack. Noctis can also trigger an armagear chain which he splits his royal arms between his companions before launching a single attack. Magic is separated into two types, Elemency and Arcana, or Arcana, however you want to pronounce it. Elemency is separated into three types, Fire, Ice, and Lightning. Elemental energy is drawn from the points across the world map, being absorbed into special flasks and used to craft magical bombs that can be used on enemies. Elemency can also be combined with specific items to add new effects, such as healing party members while damaging enemies. After each battle, characters earn experience points, but they do not automatically level up when a certain amount of EXP has been gathered. Instead, the party must go to safe zones called havens, namely rest sites like inns or campsites. When the party rests at night, each character gains levels depending on the amount of EXP earned. If defeated in battle, all EXP gained up to that point since the last level up is permanently lost. Activities in the overworld earn the party ability points. AP is spent on the Ascension Grid, the game's leveling system, which is divided into skill trees called Astrophears. Each Astrophere is sorted by type, being associated with magic, combat, or passive abilities. Spending AP opens up nodes within the Astrosphere, which then in turn grants access to further nodes which require higher amounts of AP to unlock. 
Noctis's companions each have their own skills which themselves level up based on usage and affect equipment. Noctis's fishing ability improves the more times he fishes and the better items he uses, which in turn spreads to his equipment. Gladius' survival skills increase based on the distance the party has traveled in a day, which improves the quality of their equipment and items. Ignis's cooking can be improved based on the ingredients, either purchased at shops or found in the wild, and his meals grant stat boost to the party. Prompto takes photos during the party's journey and the quality of his own skills increase over time. Final Fantasy XV takes place on the Earth-like world of Eos, which is divided between four nations, Lucis, Accordo, Tenebrae, and Nephilim. And I'm hoping I'm pronouncing those correctly. Lucis, occupying a whole landmass, possesses a magical artifact known as the Crystal. It was gifted to the reigning Kalium dynasty by the world's deities in an antiquity and excess through the hereditary ring of the Lucy. Did I pronounce that right? Lucy? I think it's called Lucy. L-U-C-I-I, -I, Lucy. I think, I think I'm right. Well, anyway, Accordo, located in the southern part of Eos, is an island nation formed through a union of free trading cities. The western continent is home to the technologically advanced empire of Nephilim and the nation of Tenebrae, which is ruled by the Oracle, which is a priestess who can commune with the gods. The Oracle's main task is curing the Star Scourge, a plague that absorbs all natural light and allows nocturnal monsters known as demons to roam the world. Now that that's out of the way, let's get down to how it performed. Starting with the preset of highest, the GPU had an average temp of 68C while the CPU had an average of 80 to 87 during fighting scenes. FPS averaged at 29. Next, using the high preset, the GPU had an average temp of 67C while the CPU moved between 78 to 86 during fight scenes. FPS averaged at 35 and we are going up, as you can tell. Moving on down using the average preset, the GPU had an average temp of 70C, while the CPU teetered between 77 to 86 during fighting scenes. FPS averaged at 42. Then I guess the GPU temp increased was probably caused by the part of the world I was in. There were also more enemies that I was fighting at once, so that could have something to do with it. Finally, using the low preset, the GPU had an average temp of 68C, while the CPU moved between 77 to 88 during the fighting scenes. FPS averaged at 58. Though the preset was low, it still looked great. Everything looked good. The next section, there is a comparison with the NVIDIA Hairworks to see if it really works. That sounded funny. But I was really wanting to see if you toggle the option, will you be able to tell a difference? Because you do take a hit when you use the option. I'm going to say that this is something we all need to pay attention to. It made a big difference when looking at certain creatures. I'm not going to give it away, so you will have to take a look for yourself. Just know that by using this option, again, you will take a small hit. And I'm talking like 10 FPS. That's a lot when you're playing a game. In other testing, I'll go back through all the presets from highest to low with all the NVIDIA options toggled on. I also choose to set the resolution scale to 75%. I'll tell you like this, if you want to play this game at a good frame rate and have it look great, use the low preset. Now using this preset, you will not have any of the NVIDIA options turned on, but it will run silky smooth if you want to play this with all the options on choose the average preset with about 75 percent resolution scale you'll get around 43 fps choosing the low preset with all options on with a 75 percent resolution scale would net you an average of 53. i've been a fan of final fantasy since final fantasy 2 in the u.s on the super nintendo i've tried it on the nes but like dragon warrior i couldn't get into it it was a different kind of game back then. 
Over the years, I developed a love for the characters and the stories. I always wondered why, when a new game in the series was released, why don't we see the same characters that we used before? Sure enough, I found out that every story was in a different universe, except for a few of them. That was something I never thought of, and to me, was a bombshell. Sometimes it was hard to care for the person you are playing in the new games because it was just different. All new characters, all new tactics, and sometimes the battle system was difficult to get a hang of. Going through the years, Final Fantasy went from mostly reading all the text on the screen to full voice casting. That was great. The game went online and it also had real-time battles. I really fell out of love after Final Fantasy X, but this game right here brought me back. The first battle that you see looks so bleak. It looks like the characters are in hell and to a point you are scared for their lives in, in just that short amount of time. Fire everywhere and that guy just sitting on the throne. Simply awesome to see and frightening at the same time. Soon you will see your character talking with his father as he leaves the building. And you know in your heart that something is going to happen badly. This to me is what Final Fantasy is. Starting young to overcome sometimes impossible obstacles. And trust me, there will be times when you think you can't beat who you're fighting. Just stick with it and you'll persevere. You know what really stands out? The talking between the characters as they are walking and running about. They even have small talks in battle. If you played this game, check out how the characters run and move about each other. It seems lifelike. One other thing I like about Final Fantasy XV is the clothing and how badass they look. Pretty women and guys that look like they could beat King Kong's ass. Just look at the detail. When I first saw Noctis' father, I knew he was a badass, even with the damaged leg. But where there is one, there is always another, which is the complete opposite. The journey that Noctis is going on is going to be a good one, and I can't wait to try it and complete it. I know this is going on long, but this game deserves to be talked about. If you are a person that is even interested in this game, I don't think you will be disappointed. By the way, the monsters in this game are something to check out. I was running past a lake and I swear there were creatures out there bigger than a building. That's right, did I mention the music? Some are classic melodies that if you've played some of the older Final Fantasy games in the series, you will immediately identify it. I could go on and on, but anyway, I've been talking long enough. Let's take a look at some of the Steam reviews. That's all I have for now. If this video helped you out, leave a like or subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next game. Mean Poo, out. Oh, P.S. I'm not making this game to seem perfect because it does have its share of problems just like any other game out there. And I'll leave you again. <laughs> see you in the next game. A dead end. I could have sworn this was it. Well. Somebody, turn on a light. Time to burn. Right. No one you. Think I don't know that? How is it? Never miss. Try this! Sorry! Alright, we're done here. The generator must have died, huh? Well, just gotta keep moving. Use them!
To death, and yet we're all very much alive. So Noct borrows the old king's powers. Hmm. More or less. At this rate, he'll soon rival his father's legacy. The copycat king. Out of line. Well, what's it like? Hmm. Like I've got some tricks up my sleeve. Just busy building my arsenal. Good to hear. I have a task for you. The Empire's begun construction of a new base along the road west to the sky. I need you to put it out of commission. If left unchecked, it will cost us access to the West. I think I got a pebble in my shoe. Take it out. Yeah. The curl acquires charge from the particles in the air. If you see it seated on these haunches, stay back. And what if we don't? You die. Me, Yakos! Nice one ferocious feeling. <sighs> Was barely hanging on. How many times? Enough talk. Time for some action. Ignis! My pleasure.
Look at all these lights! What a relief. Indeed. They ought to keep the demons at bay. Your Highness, the Marshal has apprised me of the plan. We found a back door into the Imperial base. I'll mark the route on your map. The way is secure. You should be able to gain entry relatively easily. We've been on the move all night. Perhaps we should find a place to rest nearby. Yeah, sounds good. Two outbursts still occur around the Citadel, but the Imperial forces have successfully quelled most sources of unrest. Nevertheless, the streets bear the scars of war. Reports have now surfaced that Lucis was itself arming for an offensive ahead of their clash. This battle may be remembered as one of the most violent in history. No roads, no rules. And no one to hold us back. So, who is this Monica person? A servant of the Crown's Guard, like Gladio and myself. She's one of my father's best. Along with us, who's guarding my sister? Hmm. Good to know we still have people we can count on outside the city. Everybody out. Hmm. This should be a nice change of pace. From here we will split into two groups. Prince Noctis, please join the Marshal up ahead. The rest of you will assist me in the diversionary effort. I'll see you guys later. You go give them hell. We'll do the same on our end. Once we're in, we launch our ambush, pushing out while support pushes in, crushing the enemy from both sides.
Yasha. You'll get there with experience. It's a little easier with Core around. Don't get used to it. I'll be gone before you know it. I'll enjoy it while I can. Above us! Got it! Should be. Otherwise, you'd only get in everyone's way. Could have gone it alone if I wanted. That... Knocked! Marshal, it's good to see you again. All right on your end? Right as rain. The Nifs couldn't take their eyes off us. Thanks to you, we were spared their attention. where you are. Well, well, if it isn't Core the Immortal. So, you survived the Citadel. But you won't survive what I have in store for you. It's past time your legend came to an end. Yeah. <laughs> 
Impressive. Impressive. Seeing you in action puts my mind at ease. It's clear I don't need to worry anymore. I'll return to watching the NIFs. Till next time, take care. so bad out here once you get used to it. Still a lot we haven't seen, though. And a lot for us to do. <sighs> yeah. Buck up. We're just getting started. <sighs> and what of the elusive ring? Eluna Freya has absconded with it. Find and kill her. The ring is the final piece. We may do well to take her alive. The Six wield power beyond our imagination. The Oracle holds the key for the King. She could unlock many secrets. Nay, High Commander. Lord Ravis, the Imperial Army is now at your disposal. A moot point, while the fugitives remain at large. 
My men and I will continue our search for the Prince and the Oracle. So glorious. My crystal. Here's better. More stuff to see and do. First comes to Sky, a region known for its wetlands. Really? Wetlands? There's also a chocobo forest. Now we're talking! Further west lies the Kalein region, wherein we'll find the town of Lestarum. Oh. Isn't that where Iris is headed? Barring delay, she should have arrived by now. Maybe even had herself a look at the meteor. The meteor of the Six? The same. Its heat is harnessed to power in the Stalin one. Whoa! That sounds way cool! I'm actually looking forward to this. It'll be a long drive. Best fill up the tank before we set out. I believe we have a solid lay of the land now. The driver's seat is yours, Noct. If you so desire it. Storm's past. Somebody you know? Spoke with her just the once, back at Hammerhead. Now that you mention it, you were chatting someone up. She's real knowledgeable about wildlife. Could teach us a thing or two. Go on and introduce yourself. Ugh, what is it now? If you don't mind, I'm rather busy at the moment. Oh, it's you boys. Wait, who are you again? And what do you need now? N nothing. Hmm, you're saying you distracted me for nothing? This won't do. Won't do at all. Precious seconds down the drain. How am I to make up for them? <gasps> of course! You boys can help me. Uh, okay. That's the spirit. I was just thinking I could use a few extra hands for catching frogs, to be precise. Wait, what? Frogs? Uh, and if you're thinking any old frog will do, wrong. You're not getting off that easily. Only the red frog native to Ulster suits my needs. You'll need to get knee and elbow deep down at the slough. With that, I'll get back to my work. Remember, it's red frogs, and make sure they're fresh. You managed to talk to her. Though, you know me.
The storm has passed. Another one to wrap up quick. It's a good chance to earn some experience points. Into you? Sort of. Yeah. Trying to level up here, dude. It's time. Pumped up. yourself up for full. I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> Can't wait to try it. Hey there. Thanks. See you next time. Hey, Agus! 
On your marks, knocked. Uh -huh. You're on fire today! What can I say? This one's just for you! Tarko! You ready? You like that? Solid! Done in a minute. I'm the last one. Magitech engine. It's close. Well, no one hit them. Should be good practice. Well, here we are. Hey, Agnes! Instructions! On your mark, knocked. Feeling all right? I've had worse near-death experiences. It's an eat will be eaten world. I say eat. Let's do it, shall we? <laughs> Remember, they're just a small box. Easy as they come. Try this! Let's be done with this Well, here we are. Watch up, you're up! Hey, how's it look over there? I think we might be winning!
Knocked. Overhead. was such a badass. I'm just glad he's on our side. Doesn't the power of kings wear you out? Kinda. I feel groggy when I wake up in the morning. Outstanding, Doc. Yep. The Prince of the Conto. Oh, hi there, opening! <laughs> I'm impressed! <laughs> we all good? Better than good. Good to go. Wonder what you can catch out here. Only one way to find out. Great job, Noct. Hmm. Huh. It's time. Gladio, come on! Gotcha. Knocked. We should make haste for Lestalem. Yeah. Don't keep my sister waiting. Let's have some light. Sounds good! Above us! Thanks. Shall we camp here?
Camping sucks when it rains. Less whining, more working. Hello? Sheesh, thought I'd never get through. Good to hear your voice, Highness. You recognize mine, don't you? It's Dino. Right, the jeweler. Got that right. The best around. Listen, I've been worried about how you guys are doing. How's about you drop by Galden and mingle for a bit? We'll think about it. Or You bet. Let's hit it. Ignis, how many royal arms are there? As many as there have been kings, though not all will have survived to this day. It's like a treasure hunt. What I'm talking about. The kids got it bad. There are worse vices, I suppose. Excuse me. We'd like to ride the chocobos. The chocobos, huh? I hate to break this to y'all, but we can't permit our birds to leave the post. Not while Deadeye's still about. He's an uncommonly ferocious behemoth that's taken to prowling these parts of late. His scent makes our birds nervous. And to prevent accidents and tragedies, we have no choice but to suspend rentals. But hold on now. Ain't you lads the hunters that have been making a mark? You reckon you could handle the likes of Deadeye? If you could bring the beast down, there'd be a reward in it for you. But knowing the danger, I wouldn't blame you for saying no. Together now. Ha! 
about this? Don't die on me. Stomach's rumbling. Let's see how this rumble gets me. If I do, this one's just for you. Hey! Yeah! Of course. for comfort. I'm comfortable just being alive.
to ride my chocobo all day. <sighs> Can't get it out of my head! So what'll it be today? Boy, you really saved our hides. Y'all still keeping on, keeping on? Y'all come back soon. Everything in order? Yep. Right behind you. Whoa. The disc really is on fire. I is it safe to go near it? Seeing as we're near, why don't we make a stop at the disc of Corthus? Yeah, that sounds good. Wonderful. I've always wanted to see the Meteor of Legend. Good. Indeed. Next thing I need now. Eyes peeled, mouth <laughs> closed. That's it. What's up, Biggie? I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> Can't wait to try it. picked up. Yeah, the storm's gonna ruin my hair. I'm not sure whether it's a storm front or just the terrain. Yeah, just worry about your stuff blowing away. Well, no one hit them. Should be good practice. I'll back you up, 
counting on it. Pronto! Okay! Opening. <laughs> Stand in your way. You've got my back. Always. This sounds like you're having fun. Up. Yeah, picked up junk to throw in my eyes. We're outnumbered. I suppose we take them out one by one. Could you propose a way to finish this fast? <laughs> on the next one. Wait. I have an idea. You strike from behind. From there, we'll follow. All right. Got it. This will be quick. Don't do anything wrong. Same to you. Biggie! Gotta love it! I'll draw him in and you take him out. Oh, hi there, opening. <laughs> nice one, Jota! It's nothing. Oh, hi there, opening. Appreciate it, Ignis. I won't always be that. How are we? This is no time to <laughs> You're a lifesaver. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> hey, Ignis, instructions. <laughs> Nothing goes, <personal>. Lord. <laughs> hey. No one is a nice guy. Gladio! 
That's it. What's up, Iggy? I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> Can't wait to try it. Stay alert! This bit says poor. Clean your glasses. Capital idea, Nogt. You got all those arms at your disposal? Use them! Uh-huh! I can keep the steel in check. Oh, hi there, opening. Nice work, Prompto. Do it! Thank you. No 
begin. Sorry. Gotcha. Gladio. Tomto's been intoxicated. Had me worried. Nice to know you care. Really? Again? The rest of the wicked. Yeah. The odds are against us. <laughs> I'll say. 